Hello, my name is Lee Razzo from Neo4j. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy Neo4j Enterprise Edition from the Microsoft Azure Cloud Marketplace. Okay, so let's begin at the Microsoft Azure Marketplace landing page. If we come up here to the search box at the top and type Neo4j, we will see a, a listing of all the different deployment options. Um, we have available Neo4j Ara, which is our fully managed deployment. Deploy a database instance, and it's fully managed by Neo4j. The Neo4j Community Edition, which is a limited version in the open source, so completely free to use from a license perspective, which you can deploy and experiment with Neo4j database. And what we're going to deploy today is the Neo4j Enterprise Edition, which is the infrastructure as a service deployment model. So this is what we're going to show you today. So we click through to the Enterprise Edition landing page. We get a brief summary. We come here to the left and we click Get It Now and Confirm. And this will take us through to the uh, configuration page for the Neo4j Enterprise Edition. Now here in the drop-down menu, you see Plan BYOL, which is the option for Enterprise Edition. That means bring your own license. In other words, You've already purchased the license at this stage. Now we're going to deploy the resources and apply the license. Um, and down below, you see the other options that I mentioned earlier as well. We click here on the Create button here to the right, and we come through to the first configuration page. Now here is where you will select which subscription that you want to apply this to. Um, you know, we have our own uh, our own Neo4j uh, subscription here that I'm using, and we select or create a resource group to deploy into. Now, what's important is that the resource group needs to be empty because we're going to deploy all new networking uh, resources and compute. So you can select either an existing empty resource group or what I'm going to do now is just create a new one. So I click here, create new. I call this Neo4j Enterprise, for instance, demo. And I click OK. Now I select the region. Now I am physically located in Amsterdam, Netherlands. So North Europe is my nearest uh, region, but I can select any region I want here. And then we're gonna choose an admin password. Now it's, what's important is that you remember this password, write it down, save it, because we're going to use this later to log into the database instance once it's up and running. So I select here a password, it needs to be at least 12 characters. I have a standard one I use, you probably do as well. and make sure they match. And then we come down here to the bottom and we click Next. And now we get the configuration options for the instance itself. Now, the first thing is we can change the instance type. Uh, by default, it chooses standard E4S version 5. If you want to choose a different one, you can click Change Size. Um, in this case, we will go with the default. Um, let's click that away. Uh, node count, you can deploy as a single instance or you can deploy as a cluster of three or more nodes. I'm going to stick with the default for simplicity. Um, select the disk size, there's various disk size options. The software version, I will go with the most current version at this time, which is version 5, Neo4j version 5. Um, license type enterprise. Uh, install Graph Data Science and install Bloom. So if you have also purchased Bloom or Graph Data Science, this is where you would apply those licenses as well and select yes on the installation option. Graph Data Science is a library of graph algorithms for machine learning. Th things like for creating node embeddings, shortest path, page rank, centrality, things like that. And Bloom is the graph visualization platform. It's a tool for visualizing and exploring the graph itself in real time with a lot of rich features. Both of these are explored extensively in other videos. So for now, I'm going to leave this simple and default and install just, uh, sorry, and deploy just the database. So I come here to the bottom and I click next. And now I get the confirmation page with all the configuration options I set. This is sort of that final chance to review and make sure everything looks good and change anything if needed. So everything looks fine right now. I'm going to now click here at the bottom, create, and we begin to deploy the resources. This process, depending on the size and complexity of the deployment, can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so. 
So once this is ready, then we can proceed further into the Neo4j administration console. Our deployment is now complete. So you can see here some of the summary details. And if we come here on the left and click on outputs, we get a URL to the console administration portal. We copy this to the clipboard. We can just open a new tab here and paste it. And this is where we need now the username and password that we configured earlier. So by default, the username is Neo4j. And here we use the password we configured in the earlier step. And we're in. So this is the management console. And if you're new to Neo4j, there are a number of resources here you can use to get started. If you come down here, there's tutorials on getting started with Neo4j, the browser manual, introduction to Cypher, everything you need to get started creating your first graph. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and see you next time.